And the uh, same goes for the mayor's paddle. It's Correct. free for, for Walls members, but we're asking $10 so that the, uh, the Walls group and our river keeper that's sitting in studio can continue on with the testing um, and, and all the great awareness that they bring to our area waterways. So that's why we want to help. Hopefully we'll get, I don't care, 100 people out there at 10 bucks a piece. That'd be a nice fundraiser. Yeah, now this one is more difficult. Uh, it, it's great though because it's a uh, it's a nice paddle. It's uh, 11 miles, and you know, it says on here uh, duration six hours. But with the water up like it is, it's not going to take that long. I think it was an even five last time, and that was all the way. Right. That was with that nice um, lunch break there at the mm -hmm. halfway point, and otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So it should not take six hours. And we do have uh, porta potties reserved from the same out outfit, Outhouse Porta Potties. Thank you, Outhouse. And uh, thanks once again to the Langdale Company for access to take out at Spook Bridge. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with that, that's an old uh, concrete bridge, used to be US 84. You cannot see it from the current US 84 bridge, it's just around the bend downstream. All right, and thank you also. I believe the Boys and Girls Club are going to be our main transport. For this event as well, they they have uh, long since started uh, started putting people on the area waterways. Some of their their uh, boys and girls club residents they, they put on. They have the trailer, they have the infrastructure, so it looks like they're even going to have buses. So we'll well, the buses are the key thing and <clears throat> spacing. Right, um, I, I need to talk to them so we can get this coordinated. Perfect. Right. Uh, yeah. It, this is you know the thing about the. The full moon paddles is you start and end at the same place. There's no shuttle, and there's plenty of room at the boat ramp. This one is different because we're ending up 11 river miles and about that many land miles away. You're not going to walk that distance in even six hours, probably. So we got to have vehicles. Our traditional method is everybody drives, you know, put their boat set, the put in, drive to take out, then cram into a small vehicle. You can see that won't work right now. It sure won't. So we're, John's going to worry about, and John and the Boys and Girls Club are going to worry about the actual uh, boats, and then the rest of us will uh, will figure out how to space in buses and vans and everything else mm -hmm. accordingly. Um, ask that you mask up once you hop off the waterway. Ask that you mask up at the uh, at the launch before we take off. If, yes, please. If you can't maintain your six feet of distance, please be considerate of those around you. But once we hit the waterway, it's all you. If you want to keep it on, knock yourself out. If you want to take it off, breathe that fresh air, my friends. Once you're on the water, it's really easy to stay at least six feet apart. It sure is.